the chiefs and people of Tatale in the northern region are unhappy about the poor state of roads in the municipality. They complain the situation has affected socioeconomic activities and are appealing to government to rehabilitate them immediately. Here's a report by Christopher Amakon. The Tatale Sanguli district carved out of the Zabzugu district in 2012 has predominantly farming communities where yam, cassava, millet and maize are cultivated in commercial quantities. Residents say the 58-kilometer Yendi Tatale Road, which links Ghana and Togo, is the shortest route to Benin, Nigeria and Niger. But due to its deplorable nature, motorbikes have become the preferred mode of transport. <laughs> As I speak, a pregnant woman who was in labor and was being transported to the hospital died. As it stands, we travel to Tamale for all financial transactions. Motorists complain their cars break down frequently. A food vendor, Jamila Mohammed, laments she makes losses every day because her food is always covered with dust. Our roads are terrible. I don't sell due to dust and I'm unable to pay fees of my children. Government should step in and solve this root problem. The paramount chief of Tatale, Ubor, Nyankosor appealed to government to, as a matter of agency, rehabilitate the road. The farmers are in trouble. How much a week ago, the lorry parked from Yams. There were two big villages. They knocked between Samsuku and Tatale for about five good days before they could be able to go to the market. So I am pleased the government to come and construct our road for us. From the Tatale Sanguli District Assembly, we were told that government is working to get a World Bank loan to rehabilitate the road. Further checks by the new team also revealed many unapproved routes leading to neighboring Togo make smuggling of goods and other criminal activities rampant in the area. <laughs> 